This has been a long time coming for owner Jim James and the Snyder's grocery store crew. We're back and hopefully we'll be better. Now the lot next door still has the scars from the fire, the one that killed two firefighters. There was a short waiting line outside of the store this morning, waiting for the final health inspection to finish up. It's very important because the people don't have cars. They have to take the bus, you know, and wait on the bus stop up at Price Top or Aldi, so it's real important. And the owner kept all 18 employees on the payroll. We continue to pay them every week, just like payday. I mean, payday didn't change. It was awesome. It was really good to know that you had a company to back you up after such tragedy to happen, you know. The ceiling's new, part of the meat department is new, and they've added a new product. Now, this is the same store, but it's also a different one. Because Snyder's is now a survivor when it could have been quite easy to quit. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.